Alright, so here's a look at a little speaker I made for my CDV700 series, uh, Radiological Survey Meter Geiger Counter. Uh, I think it's a 700. I don't know, I forget. Uh, yep, CDV700. This is the Anton model. A lot of them are Victorine or whatever, just the companies that would make them. Um, uh, it's hard to find the speaker for them. It's this big thing that clips on the side, and uh, you put two D cell batteries in it, and you screw it onto here using uh, an old style PL uh, connector, which I do not have, but you can get them online. So I just ordered this uh, cheesy little Chinese uh, two AAA powered speaker because it has an amplifier in it, which is important. This will not put out an amplified signal. It will only put out a very low frequency tone that you can pick up with headphones. So if you want to hear the clicks out loud, you're going to need an amplified speaker. So you can just go ahead and get yourself any little uh, cheapy one. This one has a 3.5 millimeter jack, and I have not got the connector, so it'll just pop right on there. So I just splice it together with some wires. Very basic. The positive terminal is touching on the top, and the ground terminal is touching on the side. And I just slap some tape on it, and it works marvelously. So I just wanted to go and show you, fellow friends out there who have these types of uh, machines, that you can make yourself uh, your own speaker if you want to hear the clicks, without having to go and find one of the original vintage ones and pay close to a hundred bucks for them because they're very hard to come by. So we're going to turn it on and. There is a little piece of depleted uranium on the side as a uh, check source. So when you touch it on the side, it is going to release uh, beta or gamma rather radiation. So let's turn it on to times one. Touch it on the check source, and there's the clicks. That's all there is to it. You can see it's pretty loud. There you go.